do our pickup while we're driving to Flea Masters. Try and do it quick. First thing I bought, some cookies. Oh, man. Who's this? Chester Cathedral Shop? No, that's not mine. I bought that. Okay. Oh, okay. You like these. It's uh, a poisoning pool box. Okay. I rather the, like, I had a cat one that I got, like, 20 Yeah, years. rather than flowers, know. right? Yeah. This you, this you really liked. It looks like Miriam Haskell. It's just got a real vintage look to it. It does. That old back. How much you pay? Four. That's pretty good. Is that the only thing you bought? Those are the two things I Okay. You bought something. All right, here's what I got. This this is the, the BS thing I bought. It's just a dance pad for Nintendo. But I spent... I spent 40 maybe? Okay, I I got... This is just cables. BS. I bought this GameCube. It was $30. It would have been $35. But the best game... And it's kind of yellow, whatever, but... These almost always work. I'm not really worried about that. It would have been $35, and I would have gladly paid it, except it was missing something. It was, it was missing the best goddamn thing. And it looks like they stole it off the lady, you know? What happened? She had a, a good game, and they stole it from her. That's a shame. I know. Well, here. I came with a GameCube controller, which is fine. Uh, those are worth like $15. So I paid $30. The GameCube, I should get $40 for, except I have to find a controller, which is annoying, right? But it's got the power supply. It's got these AVs. So I can actually test this if I want to. And there was a guy there with a Super Nintendo for how much? 125 120 for a Super Nintendo. I was like, hmm, all right. I never got more than, I mean, I don't know where he got his price from, but all right. So for 30 bucks, it's, it's a fine deal so far. All right, I'm gonna add this into the video. And I didn't show, and what I started to explain before I accidentally cut off the video is that it also came with this. This is a power adapter for the GameCube. That's an Intec one. So these are good. If I have to buy this somewhere, if I need a power adapter for a GameCube, they always cost me like 10 bucks and up. It did, the lot came with two games. And what happened was, I was complaining because I would have paid $35 for the lot very happily because of this game, Mario Party 4. This is like a $30, $35 game in itself, right? But as you can see, it was empty. She said the game was there this morning, which means someone came and stole it, which is kind of a shitty thing to do, but that's what happened there. Um, oh, for everybody that's, that's like, this guy don't even know what a GameCube controller looks like. I do. I just said, I just go, for some reason I call this... A GameCube controller. Obviously, it's a Nintendo 64 controller. Now, the surprise in this was Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I'm not even sure the value of this game. I haven't had it forever, but I'm assuming it's $10 to $15, right? Um, but the thing about it is this game was wrong, too. Um, this one did have a better game, I believe, that might have slightly more value. Um, DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, Mario Mix. Not sure on the value of that. I'm assuming it's at least $20. Anyway, that's the stuff that you didn't see where the video cut off, and I'm just filming it and I'm back at the house, and I noticed. I'm like, God damn it, didn't even show that. Anyway, I'm out of here. Got to keep this video short. Goodbye. Well, that was annoying. What? It was empty? The good one? No, no. It stopped. I, so I have to edit it together, which is just BS. I might redo the whole thing. I don't know. So anyway, uh, guy had the stack of games. I looked at this one. This is a good throw-in game. Uh, so I was like, how much are the games? He said, give me $2 a whole stack. I'm like, fine, because it was there. And, uh, I didn't even look at the other games, because who cares? You know? They're there. And I showed all that other stuff, hopefully. And then I got these two dinosaurs. These are Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. I don't know how much it is, but one of them I paid $3, and one uh, I paid a dollar. Yeah, I paid a dollar for this one. This has got to be worth at least... 10 or more, don't know. This is one of them hammerhead, whatever he is. And $3 for this one. Again, this has got to be worth 10 or more. Anyway, that's everything that I found at Ortiz. All right, um, Marie's going to show me what she got at Flea Masters. So this is going to be a quick video. Uh, you were showing me this. Yeah, it's like handmade. It's signed. You were really sweaty and it's hot. Like yeah, it's very it's nice. Signed What's on the a back. sign? 
Could you read By it the or person's no? name. It's from the 80s. Oh, cool. But it's like really cool because... It is. Yeah, show me the clasp. It's at, uh... The clasp is like... Too... Oh, like it almost looked like, like an earring, kind of. That's pretty neat. It's really cool the way yeah. she made it. But it's all hands. That's very nice. You got a few other pieces too, I mean, right? it's a sign language or something like that. I Definitely. think that's cool. This... I'll start to show, put out my stuff. Are you doing that? Yeah, you bought a couple of those. Yeah, how do I do that now? I got to untangle it now. Oh, there it goes. This, again... It's handmade. It's all bone. But look, a little turtle fish. Yeah, it's very nice. And it's signed on the little heart. You can't Is see it? it on this one. You can't see it on this one. What's the same artist? I got patches. I bought this for my friend. It was 10 bucks, so I sent him some pictures. He didn't get the pictures, so I had to call him. But you can see it on this one. It, it's signed on the little heart. Here, hold on. Hold it steady for one sec. I'll focus on it. Almost. I don't see the. Oh, wait. Let me get a little closer. If I turn it a little? Yeah. Uh, okay. It's like slime, but look, this, this is all like. No, it's really nice. Weaved, and it's got really pretty, like, glass beads very on nice. it. Let's see, look. Very, very nice. All right, what else? Um, anything and then, else? You actually did good with one pen. We got. I just pulled out some Boy Scout stuff. This also is handmade, but I think this is mass handmade, but it's nice. It's all sneaky. No, it's nice. It's a little purse. Oh, cute. There's um, there's significance to those purses. They put stuff in there, like maybe hair. Well, you could hair put a scented or... sachet in there. No, I think the Indians would put like like a hair from a baby or something. Or... Then I got this. Uh, this is Christian Dior. Oh. But it's just a little nice. choker with a little Still nice. Still nice. Still nice. And then this is my favorite piece. This is antique. Hold on, I gotta. Um, okay. It. I'll show now mine in a second. She's telling me it was silver, but I don't think so. But that's antique. Definitely. You no, know, look at the, how pretty like that Austrian is. Like Austrian or something, or. Um, I don't know. Look at the chain. It's like really cool. Yeah, I don't know what they call that link, but it's very and nice. And then I gotta put that in here because I don't want that. Don't to lose get, that. Because if that gets tangled, that chain will get popped. Where's okay. the Christian Dior? Uh, it might have fallen. Oh no, it's, it's, on, it's the on the floor. floor. All right, I'll get that. Good, you get the last. And then last two things. Yeah, I throw that in here for and now. And then oh, it came apart. Oh, uh, that's it. fine. Just it's hot it. down here. It is. These are just Carolee pearls. Okay, they're nice. Yeah, but this is it just popped apart. No big deal. We'll just get some glue. Yeah. It's, and what is it? Um, a dragon with a little rhinestone eye. Nice. It's a pin or a pendant, but it's Hattie Carnegie. Let me see. Close in on that. There it is, Hattie Carnegie. All right, I'll show what I got now. Um, I was rooting through a box, and the first thing I noticed was this. I don't know, what do you call this thing with the eagle? Well, whatever, the eagle shield. I saw this coin, and I knew it was Boy Scout because it said, Pre be prepared, only honor I will do my best. And on the back it says, secretly transfer me to your night right pocket each day after your good turn has been done. So I saw that, and then I started looking through, and I noticed the patches were Boy Scout. It was in a box of mixed military. I don't know what this one's for. Someone actually told me, but I don't pay attention. I'm, you know what I mean? It's like I'm not really interested. The guy was kind of telling me what a great deal I was getting, and kind of almost messing everything up. I, in my opinion, it's like, okay, dude, uh, thanks, great. Yeah, and, you know, this he's going. This is worth 50 bucks or, or some nonsense like that. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. Um, these are old patches. I. Um, Ray didn't tell me how old this stuff was. He probably has to see it. But I'm assuming since these are all hand stitched, they got to be 50s or earlier. You know, I really don't know. Same with this one. Um, when I called my friend Ray, I was like, yeah, the lady said that it's $10 for this stuff. And the other guy's like, he's going to want it. He's going to want it. And I'm like, well, I, to be honest, I would have bought it anyway, even if, if my friend didn't answer. Because I, I knew he would have wanted it. So then he showed me these. Uh, then I had this. Here's a be prepared. And he says, I think he said this one hangs off this. And then this one, he said, is separate. And it doesn't it doesn't have this part. But, uh, yeah, okay, that's everything I got. We actually kind of uh, thought we were going to go to an antique market today. 
all week I was like, yeah, let's go to the show factory and shop. And then we get there and it turns out that I was wrong. They didn't even have it. But yeah, that's everything we got here at Flea Masters today.